Hello, this is Buffy, and I am putting on a uh, another movie review by Jim, the uh, and the hologram. Well, this movie is about a um, hundred and eighteen minutes of uh, movie, and it is a very well done. Actually, it's a PG movie for all ages to go and see. I have to say that I went and saw this just. Uh, earlier today, and I brought a couple of my kids with me, and we had a wonderful girls' night out. So I went ahead and saw this movie, only because I wanted to see what is Jim all about. It is based on the actual kind of a intermix of twist of the movie that has a different kind of a genre versus the show, uh, the cartoon show called Jim. If you don't, for those, yeah. People who are in the 80s remember those days. I will tell you that is very well. I don't remember any of them. <laughs> but I do know that, that it is was on TV, and I probably have seen quite a few episodes, and I just don't remember. But it, uh, but I, I'm just being honest. I do want to tell you that this movie is not just based on that kind of scenario from the cartoon. This is actually based on a different scenario, in a different whole, in a different aspect of. Uh, the movie, um, it's about a girl who uh, was singing her so uh, heart out into the song uh, that she recorded herself, and then her sister decided to go ahead and post it on YouTube without her knowing. Um, and then when she got started into, you know, um, when she uploaded this video, and then all of a sudden the hits keeps coming, and it's just like ironically overnight she just boom she gets popular. Everybody wants to know about Jim, and then once she, um, you know, everybody kind of got to watch this you know, music video that she's put together. Her sister did. Uh, Je uh, Jen, what is it? Um, it was actually uh, Jerrica uh, Benton. That's her actual given name. Well, then she became the stage name of Jim. I have to say, tell you this. Movie is not only a very touching story, but this also touches the points that when we upload videos like me and everybody else put on YouTube, we all try to shoot for one goal. For some, who doesn't want to be, eh, want to get totally, you know, popular and famous, and some is just want to post videos because they just want the family, friends and family to see it. Or... There's other reasons for people to post videos on YouTube. And, you know, for in this case, you know, Jim had uh, gotten <laughs> overnight become internet famous. There's a difference between famous, you know, as a celebrity, and then you become an internet celebrity famous, where you're just being well known only on internet, but not yet on the media. So, she, uh, this lady, a uh, girl named Jim, um, we're just going to call it that way. Uh, discovers the story that she's trying to find her path that what her father left her as far as clues to her life that makes her who, who she is a better person. And over the period of time, and I'm not going to give a whole lot of things away because I want you guys to go see it, of course. Um, it has a lot of, um, mm, you know, uh, ups and downs. Uh, it's very emotionally. Uh, you can connect with the, uh, uh, with the, with the, the character in itself and then once you kind of fell in love with that character you kind of felt like you really want to be a part of you know her story her story tells something well also this movie is kind of based on what we actually deal with a day-to-day -day life that we all kind of suffer with peer pressure we suffer with things are going on uh, that so-and-so is having issue with their self-esteem and so on and, and it just keeps going on well i have to tell you this movie is very inspirational within the level um you have a lot more of the aspect that we you know kind of relate ourselves with this movie on top of you know this person who you know is making uh the top of the ladder ironically overnight and then she you know then she starts being the uh, the a role model iconic for other people who wants to follow her but also have much touched her heart uh, their life and they and then she kind of goes back and watch some of their uh in, you know their twitter videos whatever you know media that they're on and it's based on you know their instagram and 
you know, Facebook and Twitter and all the other stuff they mentioned about this in a movie. Well, we all do the same thing. We all try to post things. We want to get out ourselves out there, so we want to be noticed ourselves. You know, some people are highly uh, uh, posi- uh, popular than others, and then some of us, like me, I'm trying to work my, work my way up to the ladder so I can start getting myself out there a little bit more like everybody else. <laughs> because I thought, what more? I mean, this is a good way to get myself out there, and then everybody else are doing the same thing. We're all in the same boat. It's not like a, a race against the clock. We are actually, um, there is no race. We, it, it takes time. We all try to start from the, uh, down here, and then we try to work our way up. And then that's what this movie's about. Uh, Jim, uh, she just, ironically, you know, things don't work overnight for some people, and then some people do. So once you kind of get there and you start getting yourself out there, and then she touches all these people, and then she becomes the icon for everybody else. So everybody wants to be Jim. See, that's why I wear this thing. It's called Jim. Um, so, one of the most powerful things that she mentioned in this, in the, uh, I'm not going to give her, uh, how it ended. I'm not going to say anything. It's just, uh, you have to go see for yourself. One of the most point that in this movie that really touches my heart, that really gotten, uh, I've really gotten into uh, tears a few times because I got totally over emotional. I mean, it, the story has caught my eyes. I mean, it got me to the point that I got into tears just to let you know. Um, she said, you know, uh, you know, we are Jim. We all suffer the same thing. We all fight for the same thing. We all want to get our self-esteem better, and we want to make ourselves be the best person we are. And then I, I kind of got to the point, I am Jim. Uh, I am Jim because I suffer some of the stuff in my life that I will not go into details, but... The, the idea, the aspect that I, if you go see the movie and you see the, how it, she said her last, her last part of her, of the part of the show or the movie, when she said those powerful few words or the few sentences that really catches your eyes and listen to it very deeply, you go, will start saying the word, I am Jim, because we are Jim as well. We want to start somewhere and we want you know, not be picked on. We want to stand up for ourselves and be ourselves and be the best person we can be. And so does everybody else. So I have found that this movie is very inspirational and very powerful and over the top the best movie that I've seen as far as a uh, a role model per se. It's not, a, you know, it is a very well, like a similar, similar like a drama documentary sort of type thing where, you know, it's based on some similarities of the stories that we deal with every day that we it's about YouTube it's about everything that what we do as a social media try to get ourselves out there because we want to be heard same thing with you know in this movie this person wants to be heard it wasn't by intentionally because her sister kind of got her into I'm gonna go ahead and surprise her I'm gonna go ahead and just post this video theoretically people you don't want to do that with your friends and family without them you know knowledge or give you consent to it's just a, you, yeah, yeah, you'll thank me later kind of thing. Just be careful. Make sure that you do things before you get in trouble. So that's my message to give to you. Just make sure you get someone else's permission before you post their video on YouTube. Just like in the movie, she, her sister just went ahead and did it. But, um, yeah, overall, this movie is good. I do have to say there is a spoiler alert. One of the guest stars that came on the show, or I should say a few, that is worth well seeing if you have not seen it yet. I can tell you in this movie, it's got uh, D- Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, WWE, and the Fast and Furious movie, and of course other movies he's played. And we also have uh, Chris Pratt, for those who are his uh, biggest fan. We have Jimmy Fallon as well. We have, um, you know, Jason Kennelly, um, Alicia Keys. I mean, these are some of the other people who are just in there for a few minutes, but at least you get an idea. Also, to, uh, to cover the fact that that woman who plays the aunt, um, yeah, the aunt, I'm just going to say her, that, that, that's who she is, of, uh, you know, Jim, I can tell you that I have remember seeing a movie called Pretty in Pink. If you have, if you have not recognized her from that, uh, from what movie she's played in, that's the one you can refer her from is Pretty in Pink for those who have seen it. 
Other than the fact that I have given this movie an overall an A. An A is my my grades are a groove. I approve it. I approve for all viewers to see it. I think it's well done. The cast, I would have to say, A++, because they have all done so well to deliver and execute the story to make us feel emotional with the, char uh, with the character in himself. And the cast has done an excellent job uh, executing the story. It's not a, you know, this is not a lot of movies. It's got little knickknacks of things that came from YouTube that you kind of see those here and there videos we all seen back then that still comes back in a while, uh, every now and then, that, oh, I remember seeing that video once upon a time, and you know what, I'm not even sure if I remember seeing one of them on that movie, I was like, oh my god, that thing's still around? <laughs> but, it really, the fact is, this comes a long way, that this YouTube is growing so rapidly fast, everybody else is using it, and now it's, YouTube's becoming like more of a social media, you know, network, rather than going in, uh, you know, uh, just social networking or just p posting your videos just because you want your friends and family to see your, who yourself. Did you know, I'm going to give you a little uh, um, tip here. Um, now, the People's Choice Award are actually starting to consider uh, YouTube as part of the People's Choice Award of the Year. Anybody, anybody who, like me or everybody else, who posts their videos many, many, many times, and get their name out there will become a nominee of the People's Choice Award. That's a new thing that pe uh, People's Choice Award are starting to do in the digital media. Keep that in mind. So every time you post a video, you may be next to become the People's Choice winner. And you may be the impact and change someone else's lives because you did what you what do is right. It's called getting yourself out there, reach out, and help others be inspired just as much as this movie has inspired me, called Jim and Hologram. The Hologram is a wonderful little toy. I, you're going to have to go see that. It's such a cute little thing. It's like a little robot. Oh, and uh, he's just so funny. It's just so... Uh, you'll have to go see it. Um, pretty much, I am giving it overall uh, the grade and how I think about this movie. I have to say it is approved to go please go see it. Um, other than the fact is that you know where to find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and, uh, yeah, if you're also, uh, on part of the Tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R, um, I'm also on that as well, um, I'm also on other, many other social media, uh, I mean social networking, like Facebook, of course, and, um, Instagram and Twitter, you will see right on my little channel, right there, in a little cover photo. Um, you see all those links that hit right to where you can find me. Also, I'm on Periscope very rarely, but I'm trying to get out there more on that one. And you can always send me a comment down there and hit like over there if you like this and if I helped you and inspired you. Thank you very much. Um, and I love for any more, uh, many, many, many people to subscribe to all my stuff that I put on these wonderful YouTube. And it's just a get myself out there to inspire you, and please go see movie, Jim. I'll have many more other movies, and I will have the next one coming probably within the next day. Um, so anyway, until then, I will be talking to you for the next movie coming, and I will tell you that next. I'm not going to give a lot of things away. So now you got your little spoiler alert that there are some guest stars that we see is worth watching. For those who are the fans, are those uh, particular, you know, the rock. My kids, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, when, uh, real quickly. Um, my kids, when they saw uh, Dwayne Johnson, the rock, in the movie, they were like so excited. Like, oh my God, the rock is in this movie. I was like, oh yes, he is in this movie. Very small part, but <laughs> you know what? It's so great to make the movie be a highlight moment have seen The Rock in the movie. I was like, gosh, this guy is busy doing all sorts of movie all over the place. I I, I mean, hey, you know, I like him. He's a great uh, talent uh, actor. And then on top of that, WWE Champion. I love that show too, by the way. So please go see the movie, Jim, and hopefully this will inspire you or, and of course, buy on DVD and Blu-ray. And all for all, thank you for watching my video and have a wonderful night because Buffy's there to help you to go to see the next movie as it comes out. 
and thank you for watching my video too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.